Hey everyone, welcome back to Multimagic channel. In today's video, I am going to show you to how to create a professional auto-generated documentation for your Node.js projects using JSDoc and DocDash. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so you never miss an update. So without any delay, let's dive right in. Okay. So first things first, let's take a look at our project setup. We have a simple Node.js project with a package.json, jsdoc.json and a simple javascript file inside this source that is index.js. Now let us see this package.json. So here in our package.json, we have included jsdoc and docdash as our dev dependencies. So basically jsdoc is a popular tool for generating documentation from comments in your code and docdash is a clean and moderate modern template for presenting this documentation uh, you can use any other templates also but uh, i personally like this docdash that's why i use this okay maybe we can see in another video uh, let us play with multiple templates and all okay yeah we also added a custom script that is docs this script will run jsdoc with the configuration specified in our jsdoc.json that is this ok now let us take a look at the jsdoc.json file this configuration file tells jsdoc where to find our source files where to output the generated documentation and which template to use we also specified the source directory for our files that is this and we will be outputting the documentation to a docs folder that is this this is where we are specifying the destination and uh, yeah we, we are also telling that we need to use doc dash template and also we have we also included the markdown plugin to support markdown in our documentation basically and we also set some options uh, for the templates like this clever links and output source files and all we kept these options as true and all okay so that is that is all it is so basically this file is necessary to uh, specify the rules and regulations for the js doc uh, library so that it will generate the documentation based on this file okay yep and now let us take a look at our source slash index.js that is our source file okay so basically this is where we have written some example code and added some js.com uh, comments and all so at the top we have a module comment to describe what is the name of this module that is i mean we are we are defining a module the name of the module is math operations module below that we have documented it we have documented two functions that is add and subscribe sub subtract okay i'm sorry for that uh, each function has a description parameter I mean each function has a description and the parameters it is going to take and the written type specified in the jsdoc comments this is the comment format for jsdoc so these comments are what jsdoc uses to generate the documentation so make sure your comments are clear and concise as they will directly translate to your docs ok so alright Let's generate a document to do that we need to open the terminal and run the following. I'll show you what to run uh, this one, this docs command. Okay. So let me open this in the integrated terminal itself and let me run npm run docs. Yep. See now we have got the docs folder. So here these files, the fonts, the scripts, the styles, index.html, everything is auto generated, right? So if I open this index.html with my file explorer and if I open this index.html there you can see. See we haven't written any documentation manually. So we have modules and we also specified that one of the module name is math operations and inside that we have two functions that is add and subs subtract. Okay. So in the add we have we have mentioned in the comments that the description of this is adds the two numbers together and uh, the parameters of or there are two parameters that is of type number and the written type is uh, the sum of the two numbers that is of type number right so see here this 
document is auto generated using the comments what we have given here quite interesting right so there is no uh, requirement of manpower okay so maybe uh, and if you observe here there is a source that is index.js line 11 and all so what it is saying is at the line 11 we uh, at line 11 we have this add function and all okay so let us click on that see the line 11 so basically we don't need to specify our source code we can also uh, disable that option because there is a developer documentation right so for the developer documentation we don't need to specify any source code uh, instead we can add some more extra uh, documentation and all for the exact api or function so that he'll be able to understand what is the input of this function and what is the output i have to generate uh, because the source code will be already there with the developer right so it makes sense okay so yeah i think uh, this is all about this video so hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial i'll also keep the link of this tutorial in the description itself so make sure uh, feel free to use and make sure you can uh, clone this repository and clone this project and we have uh, multiple projects in the repository itself so among them this is one of the model so i hope this helps you thank you so much see you soon take care bye bye